if you got yourself one of these here, it's a tool bottle. And along with your water bottle in one bottle cage, you can put this in the other one and you can put things in it very handy like a multi-tool, you can put your gloves, your arm warmers, fold them up, put them inside, your car keys, whatever you want. It's got a wide opening mouth there so you can get your fingers in and out quite easy and put things in and it's got a weatherproof lid on top. Now you can make one, if you haven't got one, you can make one out of an, an old water bottle. <laughs> and here it is, there you go, wide opening mouth, it's very good fitting. So much so, you could almost use it as a water bottle again, but not quite. And it's actually softer than this one too. So, I'll show you how to make one. So here's the water bottle we're going to use, and you just need a nice sharp knife. And then you make a cut along here. Usually there's some lines on the bottom of the water bottle, the lower part here, as you can see. Just follow the top line there, cut around there. And then make another cut around the water bottle here. There's no lines here, so just take a good guess. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you start up the top, it's easier because you can hold the bottle with this hand and cut like this. So just cut all the way around. There you go. And your second cut along that line there will do. Done. So you've got your top piece and your bottom piece and you just need that top one to slide over that bottom one but it doesn't because they're the same size. So just as well they're plastic, one of the properties is you can soften plastic up. So we're going to soften this top one up and then put it over the top so it fits nice and snug. So you just need to heat this part of the top nice and evenly and you can do that with either a hair dryer or a heat gun. Uh, if you use a heat gun, don't go too close because you might start melting it. This, I mean, not. You can also soften that plastic top with some hot water from the kettle. Then soak the top for about 30 seconds and it should be nice and soft. If you're having trouble getting the top piece to fit over the cut end of the bottom piece, try to fit the top piece over the base of the bottom piece. It also helps to have a glove on one hand because it gets fairly hot. And you go and press it on. That's all you need to do. That's all you need to do. Make sure it's fairly straight. Just let it cool down or you can put it under the cold water if you want. And then it will stay in that shape. All done. Nice tight fit. <laughs> That's a really tight fit. Almost airtight. Beautiful. So there you go, now you've got your tool bottle. And if anyone walks past your bike wanting to steal something, they're probably not going to steal a daggy old looking water bottle anyhow. Now what you can do is if your gloves or your arm warmers, you can just roll them up rather than try and fold them. Just roll them and they'll fit in really nicely like that. The other thing is what you can do is you can put your multi-tool in there, your keys or whatever, but one thing they do is they rattle and that's annoying when you're riding along. So what I do is you can take a rag or an old sock, put your keys or your multi-tool, whatever you want, inside and then just fold it up and put that inside and it's a lot quieter, so it's silent. Now, why I take an extra rag? Well, I always make a, a point of taking a rag with me, just as any old rag will do, because it always seems to be, if someone has a puncture, it's the guy with the dirtiest drive tramp and you're helping him change and you're getting dirty fingers and oh, you, you don't want to wipe it on your clothes on your kit so you wipe it on the grass and that doesn't do a very good job if you've got a rag with you it certainly makes short work of that much nicer so a little rag handy for stopping rattles inside there as well as cleaning your hands right that's it hope you enjoy your riding and we'll see you next time